He taught me how the mind works. He taught me how I could shape my mind to attract the things I wanted into my life. He showed me that nothing is impossible, that you can attain it if you really want. If you want to attract something in your life, you need to understand what that frequency is that you want, and then change the energy in your body to match that frequency. And when you do, you attract that. And a lot of people talk about this law of attraction and stuff, but they never really understand it or explain it properly. And then I think sometimes the New Age world can just get away by saying all kinds of, oh, the law of attraction, and you know, do this and do that, and it will attract it into your life. But there's no practical steps so actually understanding the science of how, how these things work. But once you really understand it and then put the hard work into it, uh, these amazing tools have been around for millenniums. Monks have been using it for thousands of years. And you do affirmations a bit different. You kind of have three things that you do yeah. that makes them special. Concise choice of positive words, clear visualization and feeling. And feeling being the most important component because feeling is emotion and emotion is energy and energy is magnetic. Tesla had the saying, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. Everything is made up of energy and that energy is vibrating at a certain frequency. And your job is to match the frequency of what you want. Because that's harmony, right? If your team here can match your frequency, then you're all in alignment and on the same page. And then you work together. It's like a flock of birds that just flow in harmony. You see them flying in the sky, they never crash into each other. They all fly in harmony. It's like the old radios, right? You, you tune it, it's, the station is 74.5 FM, and if you get to 74.4 FM, you get static and music. 74.6, static and music. 74.5, perfect music. 74.2, just static. And so your goal is to tune your energy to, to match the frequency of what you want. And then that's when that attraction comes. Concise positive words, clear visualization, and corresponding feeling. Right. Right? The feeling is emotion, so when I say corresponding feeling, if you want something, you need to match the frequency of you want, what you want. So remember what Tesla said, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. So the same thing with concentration, right? Concentration is a science and an art. A science because the clear steps that you need to take to work towards a goal, and an art because it requires repetition and practice, right? So I, I always say that concentration is a science and an art, and learning how to concentrate, you have to understand the mind, right? So that, as I shared before, uh, that you're, you're not the mind, rather your pure awareness moving through different areas of the mind. And I define concentration as my ability to keep my awareness on you for an extended period of time until I make a conscious choice to shift it to something else. So most people allow someone or something outside of them to control where their awareness goes. So I'm chatting with you, my phone goes bing, I pick it up, and my awareness gets dragged there. Another notification comes, my awareness goes there. I see a noise out there, I hear a noise out there, my awareness goes over there, right? So my ability to keep my awareness on you or something for an extended period of time is my ability to concentrate. Your whole day needs to be filled with rituals and you need to look at your life the same way an Olympian might look at his or her life where the whole day is filled with rituals. And in the monastery, we meditated as a group for one hour a day. That's all we meditated. People always think that monks meditate all day and they're slowly sweeping the sidewalks. But we don't. We meditate one hour a day. What are we doing the rest of the day? Gurudeva taught us to practice concentration. Not to practice mindfulness, practice concentration. So if you're talking, speaking with another monk, you give that person your undivided attention. That's what we practice all day. And I think people take a different approach right now. They think, you know, if I meditate for 10 minutes in the morning, I'm good, I'm zen. And the rest of the day, I can just do whatever I want to do. And the rest of the day is, is constant multitasking. So I'm doing yeah. many things at once in exactly. a poor way. So what do you become good at? You become good at whatever it is you practice. Because practice doesn't have the ability to discriminate between what's a positive practice and what a, what's a negative practice. So if you practice something negative all the time, you become really good at it. So if you practice distraction all the time, 10 hours a day, what do you become good after six months? Distraction. Anybody practicing anything for 10 hours a day becomes really good at it. And the truth is, at 25 hours in a day, most people sleep, what, seven, eight hours? So you awake for 16. And <coughs> out of the 16 hours, are they only practicing distraction for seven or eight hours? Probably more like 13 or 14 hours a day of practicing distraction. 
So if you do that seven days a week, imagine if you practice playing the piano 14 hours a day, seven days a week. How good would you be after six months? So how good are people at distraction? If you look at most people out there, they are you're talking about mastery. They have mastered the art of distraction. These people are to be acknowledged and respected because the dedication and devotion they have given to the art of distraction. But they don't even know that. That's they the don't thing. even know. That's why I, I really harp on understanding the mind first and then learning to concentrate. Because I feel if, if humanity can learn to do this, they can be better, better athletes, better artists, better martial artists, better singers, performers, sports people, engineers, doctors. Because at the center of success is your ability to harness the power of my and direct it in a single pointed focus towards one thing, stay with it long enough so that you can come to solutions, create beautiful things. But if you can't concentrate, you can't do any of these things. And we can't solve the problems of the world 